Many running shoe and sneaker companies have a long story of how they got to be where they are today. Some popular brands have been around for more than 100 years, and have had many changes along the way. Today we will talk about ASICS. As a favorite athletic shoe brand of many runners and pedorthists alike, ASICS has always had a strong commitment to nurturing the world through sport and a mission to provide goods and services to promote health and fulfilling lifestyles around the world. Onisuka Tiger have been a major competitor on the sneaker market since the late 1940s. Sound unfamiliar? Of course it does, that's because the brand we've all obsessed over at one time or another wasn't always known as ASICS. In 1949, Kihachiro Onisuka founded Onisuka Company. LTD, aiming to create a product that would promote sound mind and sound body in a depressed, post-war Japan. Onisuka saw that Japan's youth were suffering from low morale and poor self-esteem, and he thought that fitness was the solution to that. The company's design philosophy came from the most unexpected of places, their first concept occurred over dinner one night, when Onisuka looked down at the suckers on the octopus tentacles he was eating and had a brainwave. Suction cups attached to the soles of shoes that would provide grip could be modeled on the same principle of the traction of the tentacles when they met a surface. Onisuka's novel design strategy was a huge success and helped to create one of the first classic ASICS trainers. In 1977, the Kobe-based company was renamed ASICS, an acronym of the Latin anima sana in corpore sano, which translates as healthy soul in a healthy body, a code still central to the brand's philosophy today. The idea that sports and fitness is the best way to create sound mind and body has been a philosophy that has carried the brand from the outset and lies in the foundations of every ASICS sneaker. ASICS Tiger is the lifestyle expression of the performance brand, bringing the unique combination of Japanese sports technology and global street style to the modern-day sneaker lover. ASICS logo, new image, and their venture into athletics proved a massive hit among sportsmen and women. More and more athletes were seen wearing and winning in the sneakers, and the ASICS brand was steadily growing in popularity. During the late 60s and early 70s they saw a boom in the sporting accolades claimed by the ASICS sneaker. The world marathon record was broken by Derek Clayton in a pair of ASICS in 1967 and Lasse Viren won gold at the 1972 Munich Olympics wearing the shoe. ASICs were building a reputation as a high-performance sporting sneaker with the stats to prove it. ASICs designers focused on the problem of minimizing runners' energy loss in the Task XL-1, which came out in 1985. The outsole of these shoes featured a studded, cactus plate reinforced with whisker, crystallized fiber material. Shock-absorbing gels began appearing in ASICS shoes with the appearance of the Freaks jogging shoe and the Fable Radic basketball shoe in 1987. The gel allowed for lighter shoes than those cushioned by EVA sponge, it helped make the brand a favorite among competitive runners. ASICS introduced a line of lightweight, durable shoes exclusively for professional athletes in 1990. Marathon Sortie EX featured a proprietary blend of synthetic leather and urethane, allowing for lighter soles. The Tarther 195A, a consumer version with thicker midsoles, was introduced the next year. ASICS and other Japanese shoemakers had to deal with the incursion of American brands Nike, New Balance, and Converse on their home turf. To counter, ASICS released a line of shoes without its trademark stripes in April 1997. At the same time, it had taken over Japanese distribution of a hip line of American footwear and snowboard gear for Altoona, Pennsylvania-based Airwalk footwear. ASICS benefited from the popularity of niche brands of running shoes in the United States in the late 1990s. The company extended its brand into a series of walking shoes, following the trend of walking as a form of physical fitness. The Sydney Olympics in 2000 represented another special achievement for the company. Naoko Takahashi won the women's marathon using customized shoes specially developed for her. One of her legs was a few millimeters shorter than the other. Hitoshi Mimura, ASICS master craftsman who first joined the company in 1967, fashioned these shoes and ones for other top athletes. Southeast Asia was another important market for ASICS, providing revenues of 200 million yen in 2001. 
The company aimed to more than double that figure by 2008 as it built three sales networks focusing on South Korea, Greater China, and the rest of the region. Revenues were 128.9 billion yen, $969 million, in the fiscal year ended March 31, 2002. ASICS and its subsidiaries supplied outerwear for Japanese, Dutch, and Italian teams at the 2002 Winter Olympics in Salt Lake City. The trend toward retro-styled sneakers led to some legal battles for ASICS. It sued discount retailers Target and Fred's and shoemakers Reebok and Harkham Industries for allegedly infringing upon its trademark stripe design. Today, ASICS is revered as a contemporary street and athletic sneaker brand with a rich heritage in performance and design. With sneakers based on the classic designs worn by athletes that propelled ASICS to sporting stardom during the 60s for their high-quality performance during Olympic championships and major sporting events, the brand is traveling back to a golden age. Even a brand as current and contemporary as ASICS aren't immune to a little retro nostalgia. Friends. I hope you enjoyed the history of the brand ASICS. Share your opinions on what shoes you personally prefer, classic or sports. If sports, what brand do you prefer? And maybe in your closet have a pair of sneakers ASICS? Then write down what do you think of them. It will be interesting to know your opinion. Friends, do you want to know more interesting stories about famous brands? Subscribe and watch the next videos.